everybody. Just leaving Henderson Ace over here in Hartsville. Uh, I got three sheets worth of stuff over there. It's one of the, it used to be my biggest store, but then I got another store in King Street that has uh, more items than this one, but this is one of my biggest store. Uh, it's in my best selling store as of now. Um, but a lot of stuff sold, super stoked about. It's 5.08 though. Um, I was trying to like go back home, get some stuff to restock and bring back over here. It's not gonna have enough time because they close at six. So I'm either gonna have to, I'm gonna restock the stuff, get the stuff that I wanna bring back over here again. So, you know, stuff can be moving over here too. Either come back, either see if my dad can bring the stuff over here. I just need to go and get it ready. See if my dad can bring it over here like earlier tomorrow or uh, bring it tomorrow at like five. When I leave them, I have to leave, I'm gonna leave them all at like four, I think. And then, uh, you know, I could just shoot straight over here, which is gonna take me 45 minutes or so to get here from Florence all the way back over here. So, um, and then I have to stop and stuff at the mall. So, uh, which might actually take me about an hour. So, I can have them over here tomorrow. The main thing I just wanna have them here for this last little stretch here, especially the weekend. So, uh, especially like Friday night. But I think my dad, he should bring, he, he doesn't mind helping. So. Uh, so I for sure won't have tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and restock on that. But I got to go back to the shop now. Got in, So now on top of all the ass of stuff I had to do, now I got to do all this kind of stuff. But I don't say that like, oh, man, I got something. You know, I say like I'm stoked for it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I have all this to do. Like, you know, that's, you know, like with success comes responsibility, basically. Like you, you know, gives you more to stay on top of. And uh, I just think it makes me a better person even like starting my online personal training business like you know i've already got clients now like with all this going on and i'm doing that and i'm managing clients and i'm still trying to take on new clients like i just feel like you know like just get started guys don't you, you can talk yourself out of it in in the heartbeat so fast in your head but it's like don't sit back and think about it too much. I mean, you think about what you want stuff in life, but it's like once you know, like if you want it, just take action. No matter how small it is, get started on it and you'll figure it out along the way, basically. Only just keep, you know, giving it your best shot. So, um, you know, but I just feel like having a full plate, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, having a full plate keeps me hungry. It's like, yeah, it's kind of the opposite if you think about it. It's like, my plate was already full before I started doing um, my online training, but I, I want more on the plate. Like I said, I feel like it makes me a better person to have to manage that much more stuff and, and get that much more stuff done. And I don't care because I want it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply myself towards my goals and dreams <laughs> no matter what. So, you know, you know I hope y'all get a little fire in y'all's belly something that you know start driving towards things that some things that you want in your life to manifest but uh one of my favorite quotes i'll share with y'all real quick uh is uh i think it's in the bible but it says god says to whom he gives to whom much he gives much is to be expected and uh, there's a Wiz Khalifa song that uh it's like my, i love that you see so we say he says and god said to whom much he gives, much is to be expected. He says, I'm living proof of that. I like that. that shit, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm living proof of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and think about this. Like, dude, like, I man, I, I see like physically handicapped people. Hold on, this lighting sucks. The sunset's behind me, but at least that'll look cool. But man, it's like, let's see if this will look better. It's a little bit better. Think about this. Like, Oh, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk. Just enjoy that backdrop. But, like, dude, when I see somebody who's like physically retarded or like, or mentally retarded or whatever, retarded or just, it doesn't have legs or born all deformed and stuff, it's like, God, dude, that just motivates, that just makes me get on my, just, that just makes me drive even harder, dude, like, because look at them, think about being them, think about all the opportunities and the things they can't do, literally can't. You see what I'm saying? It's like the things that they weren't given, that me and you were given, the fact that we have all our hands, our toes, our fingers, uh, you know what I'm saying, all our limbs, that we have healthy brains, we can think correctly, like just, that, that alone drives me to absolutely, manifest as much as my dreams I can and be the best possible 
person I can possibly be and just achieve as much as I can. Just like, I can never feel sorry for myself. And I, and I hope none of y'all can either, man. It's like, there's people out there born with just, I just saw a video that the other day the dude was born with some kind of crazy disease, all like real small, deformed, and he was grown, he was talking, he was in a wheelchair, but it's like, dude, like, fucking A, like, let me get to work even harder now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, God's, like, and I say that, like, to whom much he's given, much is to be expected, and I'm I'm not even saying, like, and I mean, it, it goes into, with like, now that my businesses are being successful, and then, you know what I'm saying, getting clients, and everything is growing right yeah that sense too i'm also saying in the sense of just being born with the, the possibility the capabilities to be able to do everything and anything that's to whom much he gives god's given that's everything god's already given me everything you know what i'm saying the the power you know what I'm saying the ability to have a completely healthy mind and body that's fucking everything <laughs> Because with those, that's the tools that manifest everything in this reality. So that alone is everything. So much is to be expected with that. And that's why like, I get up and I just bust ass day in and day out, day in and day out. Like I don't record, I haven't been recording many of these like uh, working day vlogs, but guys, it's like this every fucking day, every day. Like this isn't like, this one day is a little bit extra push. Well, I will say it's a little extra more push because like I have to, I'm high, absolutely, or I've said to myself, like, I'm absolutely happy. I'm, I'm going to absolutely get it done by tomorrow, and i got to get up early. Like, so it's like it's a little more on a deadline, but still every day I'm getting up, and I'm striving every day to have zero seconds wasted in, like, just every second. And, yes, it's, 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 it's really hard, but I do hit some days like that. And, dude, when you go to bed after a day, when you hit the bed, it's literally, like, every single second of that day, you didn't waste once like you constantly everything you were doing was towards a purpose like you were constantly striving like getting things done do you when you lay down dude like there's just this oh, you just there's just like it's the deepest sense of pride and like that you did that day right you know what i'm saying you that's to an i don't even think i don't know think that but thinking about it right now that's like serving god to the utmost like because you're making the most out of the thing God's blessing. I don't care if you, I'm not, I don't know if you believe in God or not, but I definitely, there's a God, you know what I'm saying? I definitely believe it, so, all this, there's too much to, to just be random. I think that's just stupid as shit. Uh, but that, you know, God's, that's my, another great quote is, uh, our life is God's gift to us. What we do with our life is our gift to God. So that's that's another thing I look at, man. That's another thing that drives me. And just like I feel like if I'm slacking, if, if I'm if I'm not giving everything my all and just BS around, I literally feel like I'm I'm disappointing God. Like I'm letting Him down. Like how how shitty. Like imagine if if you created a human, you created some kind of creature, and it just squandered the opportunities you gave it, and it just was slack and lazy and didn't make the most and didn't really maximize this damn gift of life, like this gift that you've given it, it just squanders it, just shits all over, it slaps you in the face, like, basically, I don't care that you did that for me, basically, like, that's basically what it's doing, what about wasting your time and bullshitting around, you're basically flicking the middle finger to God, saying, F you, I don't care that you created me in this awesome universe and world and, and all these great things, I don't care that you do, that's basically what you're saying, you know what I'm saying, and then the opposite of that, you're getting up, you're making the most out of yourself, you're striving, you're trying to be the best, like, that's really serving God the most, I honestly believe, um, that's the way I look at it, so, it's like, and again, that's just one thing, the thing that drives me, man, it's, uh, like, really, what, there's, like, it's like, what doesn't drive me, you know, so, like, what doesn't drive me, like, I, there's, like, there's too many things to drive me, that, that, you know what I'm saying, that motivate me and shit, so it's like, there's no way I couldn't not be motivated, you see what I'm saying, so I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you if you just, if you're, if you're like, dude, just like, well, it starts with knowing what you want, you gotta know what you want to be able to get what you want, so, my camera's about to dime in the clip here, man, but, fucking A, people, get on, get the ball rolling, dude, and, and it starts slow, people, imagine a snowball going down the hill, it starts out, so it's a little tiny little pee, Eventually goes to like a baseball, then a softball, then a damn soccer ball, then a basketball, then a big beach ball, then a, you know what I'm saying, guys, it just, it, it grows and goes and grows and goes and grows and grows and goes. And then eventually you got this momentum and this huge thing built. 
You see what I'm saying? And then you get another thing rolling. You know what I'm saying? You just keep growing. And, and, and to me, that's, that's the happy life. That's a life with no regrets. And that's a life of uh, achievement and greatness and just a life of fulfillment and, and a great life lived, basically. All right, I'm in this clip here for my camera. Guys, I'm going to throw it on the charger. See y'all back at the shop with the products done. I'll show y'all uh, what the new merch is looking like.